Sorry for the long wait for the videos, but here we go. The turnaround of AG Tour last year is absolutely wild. Last year they won nine races, three at World Tour. This year they've already won um, 23 races and a lot more at World Tour. Uh, one, two, three, four, um, five, six at World Tour. So yeah, they've really improved. People say it's the bike, people say it's other stuff. I'm gonna go through the bike and show that it probably isn't necessarily the bike alone but maybe it could be. So first of all, we're gonna go onto the chains. Now this isn't perfect because uh, we're talking about, I think 12 speed and non 12 speed, but more or less what you can see from here is that the speed is the green. So Campy Super Record is on this level. And then if we look at Durace Di2, again, basically uh, not quite as quick would be the general uh, general verdict, Durace, I think this is 11 speed, is basically the same. But what you can see is that the chain difference here, we're not talking a lot. If anything, Campy's quicker. So them changing from Shimano to Campy, probably not moving the needle much. Next, we're going to talk about tyres. Now, this actually probably is, it's always a contentious one because the way that Bicycle Rolling Resistance do this on the metal drum, probably not the best, but, you know, at least it's something that we can compare. Maybe it's not 100% accurate. So you can see they're on GP5000 STRs 28 mil. We're going to go for the high watt, doesn't really matter, 9.1. And if we go on to the Pirellis, I know there's new prototype Pirellis and new Pirellis out, but I believe last year they weren't actually using them. We can use the speed core as 11.8 watts, which I think is the new one. If we actually look at the old Pirelli race, was on 12 watts. So there's definitely, and I believe the one they were actually probably using was the P0 Velo. So anyway, there is significant increase in or decrease in rolling resistance going this year. So that is an advantage and something that I think will have definitely helped and probably can be something that you can attribute to them, them performing better. They do are on better tires. Next, I managed to find this from, from uh, Trainer Road, but this has all the, all the Tour Magazine bikes. Now this, I think, potentially could be bigger than people imagine. So the Van Riesel is 207 watts. So you can see the lowest tested is the Simple and Pride. It's like a fake S5. 199 watts, you can see the stalks are pretty quick. The Canyon Air Road uh, is also quick, standard stuff. But what we can see is that we have to scroll a long way down to the time machine. So the time machine here is maybe three watts slower. They didn't actually use the time machine that much. I think we're gonna have to scroll further down to find the team machine, uh, which I believe is on here. But the team machine, I think was another, I'd say most people's like non aero bike is another like five or 10 watts. You can see like a Scott Addict is like 220 watts. So you can imagine that a lot of the time they probably were riding a bike that was significantly slower because the aero bike, they just didn't use as much as they think. Otherwise, three watts is basically the same. My conclusion on all of this, and you can see the BMCs, they did have like not the best tires on it, while this Van Rydal did have the Swiss side, Swiss side wheels and everything. I don't think it's necessarily a massive point that on the bikes that they're going to be way quicker like I don't think the aerodynamics is huge but what I would say is that it's kind of just everything maybe is slightly better like the bike's a little bit quicker the tire's a little bit quicker but ultimately is the reason they're winning because they're on a new bike no their helmet is also quicker um I'll leave a, a picture of that now the helmet is really really quick the aero one but I think it's probably just the change of team in general like they've got new equipment yes but it's also probably more from a mental side and ultimately it's probably more to do with uh just the general setup of the team maybe i think they might have gone more into sports science and things like that and I, that probably has a bigger effect than the bike as you can see here you know we're maybe talking three watts on the aero bike i know they didn't use that the whole time but otherwise you know you can see it's not it's not massive differences just tweaks here and there maybe that makes a difference at world tour but i'm not so not so convinced